guys. Summer is almost here now in London. It's a nice sunny day. And what better way to get your body in shape to burn some fat, get very lean, than to have an indoor spin bike. This is the Giroto X2. I'm excited to set this up. Let me go ahead and open this box. I'll run through how I connected everything. For the most part, it's already pre-assembled. There's a few things that you just need to put together. It is a little bit heavy, so you might need two people to help you out just to make sure you quickly get it up and running. But let's go and see how this performs because it is super quiet and I'm really excited to try that out. So let's get straight into it. So I've taken everything out of the box. There's not a whole lot of pieces. As you can see, the main frame is already pre-assembled. So you've got the handlebar there. You've got the height adjusters for the seat and the handlebars. You've got the seat. You've got the bases for the front and the back, the pedals. You've got the strength meter, the knob there, and a whole bunch of screws. There's the battery and the digital display. So there's not a whole lot of things and it should be pretty straightforward to set up. If you have a look at the booklet that comes in the box as well, there's only six steps that you need to follow to have everything completely ready and fully assembled. So it's only these three pages, that one, this one, and this one. So let me go ahead and follow this and I'll show you when it's completed. Okay guys, so I've set it up. It took about 25 minutes. The bases I had to set up, you need at least two people to help you do that. Everything else you can do by yourself. It was very straightforward and very easy to do that. So this is a very solid build. It's about 50 millimeter thick solid metal. It is quite heavy. I reviewed a previous spin bike before. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys wanna check that out as well. But this one is so much more durable and heavy duty, which I think is great because it will last a very long time. Now, one thing I wanna show you is quickly how I set this up. So let me go through some of the parts that I've connected. So the first thing I had to do is put the bases together. So on the front, all you have to do is put these two screws into the base and you're pretty much set. Again, the same thing with the back. All I had to do is connect these two screws to the base and that was part one complete. Very easy, you need two people to do that. After you've done that, everything you can do by yourself. The next thing is I connected the height adjustable bar for the seat. Just put that in, put the height knob on there and put the seat on top. You've got the adjustment here, so you can untighten it then you can move the seat various different levels to whatever adjustment you like then you just tighten it next i put the handlebar height adjustment in there as well again very similar you've got the height adjustment handle at the back you put it into the perfect height for you to start cycling and then you can just put the actual handlebars on top i've got another adjustment for the handlebars to move it backwards and forwards whichever one you like and the good thing i like about this handlebars is if you see here there's actually two sections here you can put either a water bottle in one and your phone in the other. But what I like is that it's quite large. So this actually fits something like an iPad if you want a bigger screen, like so. It fits perfectly. And this is like a really good high quality Peloton bike with a huge screen. So it's really good for having multiple uses for the handlebar as well. One thing I like about this as well here is for the resistance, this actually has six magnets in there for magnetic resistance. And it doesn't use like the traditional felt pads which can wear down over time. So this makes it really solid and gives you a absolute great workout. The last thing I had to do is put the pedals together. So as you can see here, it's very straightforward. All I had to do is put the bolt nut on the other side of the handle, stick the pedal in, tighten it with the two spanners that come in the box. And then you've got yourself the cage foot that you can tighten very easily with the straps. So all of this is very great. Now what I want to do is give you guys a test of me riding it because this is a super quiet flywheel and it's so quiet that you can even have like a little baby sleeping next to you in the same room and it will not wake up because it won't hear any sound now it's very quiet in my room here so i want to give you guys a test so i've got my level a microphone on my shirt try to hear out if you can hear how noisy this is and i'm guaranteeing you you're probably not going to hear anything so let me go ahead and do that and while i do that as well I'm gonna run through the digital display and showcase to you guys how that looks. Another thing is this is very easy to move. So you do have the two wheels on the front base. All you need to do is pull it back with the front handlebars like so, put it onto the wheels and it's so easy to move around. And even if you have carpets and not hardwood flooring, it would work absolutely fine like that as well. Now, one other thing is that the maximum weight load on this is 136 kilograms, which is around 300 pounds. 
So pretty much everyone will be able to use this no problems. Height wise, I think because of the different levels of height adjustments, the handle adjustments that you can make, you can probably be between four foot 10 and six foot two and be very comfortable using this. Now, what I wanna do is go ahead, give you guys a sound test of this super quiet flywheel and then also run through some of the options on this screen as well. So let me go ahead and run this now and try to hear out if you can hear any of the noise from the wheel. That is super quiet. This is the perfect complementary fitness equipment that you need for indoor training. Now, the last thing I wanted to showcase is if you come here and take a look at this digital display, I'm gonna run through some of the options. So the first one you can see is called scan. That basically cycles through the following four different levels of metrics. Time, of course, if I switch this, this tells you how long you've been riding for. Speed, this gives you the number of meters per second that you are traveling at. Distance in kilometers, how far you've gone. And of course, calories, how many you've burnt. So that's about it, guys. I'm super happy with this spin bike and I will be using this to muscle tone, to have some great leg day sessions and also to burn some fat. Obviously, make sure you check with your physician if you are fit enough to use a spin bike. And if you do have any existing problems, then try to check that out with your physician first before you jump onto this. But if you're an athlete and you're really focused on getting into a great shape, this is the perfect spin bike to get. Now this is around 500 pounds on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can check that out. Any questions that you have, drop a comment down below. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. And if you did like this review and you like all things tech, I do videos every week and I know you're gonna like them. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and I'll catch you guys next time while I finish my leg day. Take care.